Hello and welcome back to another Ubuntu video and today we're going to talk about can Linux get viruses and malware, trojans, ransomware, whatever you want to call it. Um, firstly, a lot of you might know that there's a new ransomware called CryptoLocker and, and um, oh, what's it called? Uh, game over Zeus but they are actually only for Windows and they have been rated the most um, dangerous virus out there but can Linux get them? short answer to can it get crypto locker and game over Zeus is no it cannot because them viruses were programmed and coded to work in an EXE which is a DOS Windows file so um, it cannot actually execute on a Linux machine but if you download it through a website um, your Linux machine can house a DOS Windows virus However, it cannot activate, which means it can cause absolutely no damage to your machine whatsoever. Um, a lot of people think Linux and Ubuntu mainly is actually virus free and malware free, but the answer to that is no, it's actually not. Um, it's just not got as many because there's simply too many people looking over the code for it to get infected badly, and not many, there's not a huge um, population of Linux users compared to Windows so most viruses are for Windows 95 like some percent of viruses are actually for Windows um, now there wasn't in like in the past there wasn't a lot of Mac users so there wasn't any viruses for Mac however now there's become more and more and more Mac users there, has, there is actually some viruses now out there for Mac quite a few um, there's pretty much next to none for Linux though even though the US military air base actually use Linux operating system for, your, for those of you who didn't know that um, now antiviruses for Ubuntu and Linux now you can get them but if you're just a regular user you do not need them as to install a file that would have a virus in you need root pri privileges and basically that means if you're installing through a terminal you need to type in fudo or sudo which gives it root so if we just type that as you can right there. so it asks you for your password there as well but now we're logged in as a root which means viruses can get through if you install the wrong file through the software center again you do need um oops sorry mm. you do need um your password for the administrator privileges to actually download the file and install it, which means nothing can actually install on your system without you basically letting it um also the code that Linux uses can't encrypt a virus so basically if someone did want to put a virus on your Linux machine it would basically mean making a Linux encryption which would basically mean having to put the virus on their own computer to put it on someone else's which obviously no one's going to do so basically um, the answer to can Linux get viruses is it can not 100% fully secure absolutely no no malware However, it's about 98.7% less likely to get a virus than Windows. And I think it's about 60-something percent the Mac. Um, if you want to know more about this, or if you're thinking of installing Ubuntu and you don't want to get viruses or anything, if you want to know more, just head over to the TechMint website. Um, and that will tell you tons of information about how to get viruses on your Linux um, OS and basically just lots of more 
information that I've not got enough time to go into. But as you can see, the Linux is architecturally, ar architecturally strong and hence much more immune. But as you can see, it says not totally to security threats. Linux is kernel and GUN slash Linux is the OS. There are hundreds of distributions of Linux at kernel level. They all they are all more or less the same, but not at the OS level. Um, so yeah, just head over to the Tech Mint website. The link will be in the description. It's a very good website. Um, gives you lots of information about viruses for Linux and also lots of other information if you just went directly onto the Tech Mint website. It's pretty much everything you need to know about technology. Um, most of it is Linux, but as you can see, it says Linux How To Guide. Um, it's a very good website, to be honest. Lots of information on there. You can ask questions. You can find out the commands for your terminal. So, yeah, that's like a good website to visit if you want to know more. Um, be sure to check out my how to install Skype on Ubuntu 14.04 and how to install um, the wobbly windows effect which is that effect there there's, no, there's a video on that as well so um, yeah be sure to check all that out and that's pretty much it for this video so yes Linux can get viruses it can also house windows viruses which aren't going to affect your machine um, but it, you pre if you're just a regular user just using it for normal internet um, you're never going to get a virus but if you're doing different type of coding running wine programs which I actually do have installed on my Ubuntu machine here if you're running wine um, you're more likely to get infected but you can get antiviruses you can get AVG um, Avast and a few others uh, so yeah, thanks for watching this video, um, don't forget to subscribe, watch my other videos and peace.